Hello everyone, welcome to another Underrated Film Saturday, and today I'm going to be briefly focusing on the, I guess you could call it crime drama, uh, titled Gone Maybe Gone. Uh, this one was made within the 2000s, if I'm not mistaken, um, and I think it has been quite overlooked over the years, unfortunately, and I think that's probably due to the fact that um, even though there are some recognizable actors within this film, they're not necessarily the main characters or stars. Um, and also, I don't think there was a huge emphasis on marketing, at least when this film initially came out. So I think, unfortunately, it did get kind of shoved under the bus. And uh, a lot of people, I don't think, seem to recognize it all that much. Um, so I thought it'd be interesting to discuss it here. Now... Uh, this particular uh, film focuses on a little girl who ends up going missing uh, along the East Coast. I believe it's emphasized sort of within the Boston area. Um, and this is a whole huge big deal and it gets a lot of media attention. And the main character named Patrick Kenzie, who is played by Casey Affleck, and I guess if you're not familiar with Casey Affleck, he's actually, I think, Ben Affleck's brother if I'm not mistaken and they kind of look similar like you'll notice like the demeanor and everything and you know it's 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 really striking how kind of similar they are and yet kind of how different they are sort of at the same time um so uh in case you didn't know that that's pretty much uh the actor who is playing him and he's a private detective uh along with his girlfriend named Angie um, and they up, end up getting involved in this case because they are um, asked by a family member of this little girl to sort of come in and help um, with the whole investigation. And um, what I think stands out about this film is, is, is that it does a really good job of showcasing sort of a modern day kind of city that's not necessarily in the best of shape. Um, you sort of see the levels of poverty that are uh, sort of uh, a part of the main characters' lives. Um, and you sort of see how, you know, there's not a huge amount of prosperity and uh, everyone kind of is in the um, sort of... Uh, drug culture or drug scene and you'll sort of see how drugs play a significant role within the plot and that and it's really highlighted in a fairly realistic way like it really genuinely looks like the, a kind of town that would be uh struggling um so uh for what it's worth the actors in it have done i think a really significantly good job at portraying their roles. Um, they're not necessarily as in depth as far as their personality, I think, is concerned. But what's interesting about the characters is their motivations, because you'll see how all these different characters that end up coming together sort of with the main characters have their own significant motivation throughout. And um, that really plays a huge role in how the plot sort of unveils itself. And how they figure out exactly what happened to this little girl and sort of why she was taken in the first place. Um, and I definitely don't want to give that part aspect away of, of it because it is very important uh, and is uh, very interesting in how they execute it because not a lot of crime uh, dramas at least are around nowadays, uh, it seems like, because it seems very old school. Um, but it definitely does a good job of doing it as sort of in, in, in sort of updating it into the modern age um, and how, you know, crime obviously back in the 50s is definitely not the same and how crime is sort of uh, showcased now. So um, it really does a good job in giving that sort of updated feel to it. Um, and uh at the end of the day, it is a film that I think is definitely worthy of uh, people's time, especially if they like the more modern day crime dramas. 
Also, if you like, um, you know, Ben Affleck's more serious types of films, because I believe he was involved within this film, if I'm not mistaken. I can't exactly remember what it was. I believe he was the director, if I'm not mistaken. And that might have been another reason why this film got overlooked, because I don't think people really thought that Ben Affleck was able to really be in the behind the scenes. You know, usually you see him as playing a person in the movie. You don't see him as being a uh, producer, writer, or whatnot. So having him doing some kind of behind-the-scenes role, not really necessarily partaking within the film of it, in and of itself, I think is something that maybe I think a lot of people didn't really think he was capable of at least doing during the time. And that might have been also another reason why, unfortunately, it got overlooked. Sort of similar to The Town, which I talked about, I believe, a couple of weeks ago. But I think that's really all I can say about this film without really giving too much away. Um, definitely something that is uh, interesting and well thought out. And it's nice to see these kinds of films and sort of looking back on the 2000s with uh, gems like these that actually try to do something smart with their genre as opposed to kind of trying to phone certain things in. Um, and actually do something very creative and modern. Um, but yeah, I think that's really ultimately all I can say, though. If there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.